decided on this sunny April day that we were going to try to tap our maple trees. We have a little bit less than two acres and we have lots of maple trees on the property, um, but a couple just right in our front yard and we have never tapped them before and we wanted to give it a try because we found out about another way to process the sap which we'll share with you in a little bit but come join us in tapping our trees keep going yep Maple sap, sugar maple sap is about 2% sugar. So what we are gonna try to do was we're going to try to freeze dry it. 40 gallons of sap goes into one gallon of maple syrup. And so um, we heard that about a gallon of sap will turn into about one and a half ounces of sugar. So we thought that ratio would be a little bit better and it's much easier to freeze dry it than to spend the day processing it and boiling it. We strained our sap three times in order to get out any impurities. We were reluctant to try to boil it um, to kill any bacteria and then put it in the machine in case that it would cause the machine to blow up um, because of the high sugar content. But I suppose if you brought it to a boil quickly enough to kill the bacteria and then cooled it and put it in, it probably would be okay because you're only starting with 2% sugar. We are we ended up filling up the trays all the way in, in later batches. So we have a medium freeze dryer with four full trays of sap. No way. So it's been about 24 hours since we put our plain sap right from the tree into the freeze dryer. And when we pulled it out, you could hear it crackling, like snapping. Um, there's just a, like a thin layer left on the trays. And I'm just gonna take the bench scraper and just make it into a pile. It tastes like a very mild um a very mild sweetness but it but it's definitely sugar and i think the coolest thing about it is that that freeze drying it is likely to yield you more sugar than boiling it and we're hoping that it is also keeping the nutrition that is is in the sap alive so it's like it's like raw raw maple sugar <laughs> it's just really cool and it just as you can see like when you pulverize it just with the bench scraper it turns into sugar it's just so cool so we ended up with a, like a little less than half a quart of maple sugar and it's a very light maple flavor. It doesn't taste caramely like a deep dark maple syrup, but it does taste like a light mapley flavor. And it's just so cool. Just so cool. We definitely do it again. I think the the thing that I would do next time is I would fill the trays all the way up to um you know as full as they can get. There wasn't a whole lot of ice accumulation. That was what we were cautioned when we did this before to fill up the trays only halfway. It doesn't seem like that was an issue. So I would fill it up all the way and probably get, um, you know, a solid half a quart. In subsequent batches, we filled our machine all the way with five quarts of liquid sap and it yielded 4.15 ounces. 
So that's about 5 liters and 117 grams of sugar. Give it a try. Let us know how it goes in the comments. Um, I can't tell you how thrilled I am about this. This is so cool. So thanks for watching. See you later.